Sekali lagi Mister ucapkan halo shalom selamat pagi anak-anak kelas 7C Mister berharap kalian bisa mendengar suara Mister dengan baik ya. Bisa. Ya. Baik, terima kasih. Ya, sebelum kita masuk dalam proses pembelajaran kita pada pagi hari ini, mari kita bersatu dalam doa. Mari anak-anakku yang ada di rumah kalian bisa mempersiapkan diri kalian untuk berdoa. Mari kita bersatu dalam doa. Bapak yang baik yang kami sembah di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, terima kasih Tuhan buat kebaikanmu dalam kehidupan kami. Pada kesempatan pagi hari ini kami bisa ada berkumpul lagi di tempat ini untuk dapat melanjutkan proses pembelajaran berkaitan dengan norma Tuhan. Mampukan kami sebagai generasi-generasi yang nantinya akan meneruskan cita-cita nasional, para tokoh-tokoh nasional kita mampukan mereka untuk dapat memiliki karakter memiliki semangat yang tangguh untuk dapat belajar dengan giat, dengan baik, untuk dapat meraih cita-cita mereka masing-masing Tuhan. Engkau rapi setiap uh, proses pembelajaran yang mereka laksanakan pada pagi hari ini, biarlah hikmatmu boleh di atas mereka, kecerdasan, kepintaran daripadamu boleh tercurah atas setiap anak-anak di kelas 7C ini. Biarlah roh ketaatan dan kedisiplinan Tuhan boleh ada bagi mereka. Dan kami sambut, segala proses pembelajaran dari awal hingga akhir ke dalam tahan pengasihanmu. Jadi dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, haleluya, amin. Baik, terima kasih anak-anak. Seperti biasa, misalnya akan absen kalian. ya. Jadi bagi anak-anak yang bisa panggil namanya, kalian bisa sebut hadir seperti itu. Tujuh C. Baik, Mister Awali dari absen pertama ya. Absen pertama ada Brilia Villa sini. Halo Brilia. Iya baik, terima kasih Brilia. Lalu ada Kesia Simamora. Baik, kemudian ada Erina. Ada Mister. Iya. Lalu ada Excel. Excel, halo. Baik. Excel ke toilet, ya. Baik. Kemudian ada Frederica Anastasia. Hadir, Mister. Ya. Kemudian ada Harrison. Hadir. Ya. Lalu ada Ide Bagus. Hadir, Mister. Baik. Kemudian ada Kade Nathan. Hadir, Mister. Ya. Kemudian ada Kelvin. Hadir. Ya, lalu ada Marvel. Hadir. Baik, kemudian ada Grady. Hadir. Ya, lalu ada Naomi. Hadir, Mister. Baik, kemudian ada Kenas. Hadir, Mister. Baik, lalu ada Sifra Kimberly. Hadir, Mister. Baik, kemudian ada Valerie Briana. Iya baik terima kasih Valerie Brina lalu ada Valerie Queen Hadir Mister Iya lalu ada Vanessa Hadir Mister baik kemudian ada Wina Hadir Mister Iya lalu ada David Leonardo Hadir baik terima kasih David ya semua hadir ya kelas 7C baik Mister ucapkan baik terima kasih buat kalian dan Mister ucapkan banyak terima kasih buat anak-anak yang sudah menyelesaikan PTS-nya dengan baik. Ya, meskipun Mister lihat masih ada nilai-nilai juga yang uh, ngepas, ya. Tetapi tidak apa-apa, ya. Mister hanya mengingatkan kembali untuk kalian bisa lebih teliti membaca wacana cerita yang Mister sampaikan di soal tersebut kemudian kalian bisa pahami dengan baik maksud kemudian apa yang diminta di sana ya tanpa berlama-lama kita akan oh, bahas bersama apa yang sudah kalian kerjakan di minggu lalu di uji kompetensi 2 benar ya untuk 10 pilihan ganda silahkan kalian bisa persiapkan kita akan bahas bersama apa yang sudah kalian kerjakan 
uji kompetensi dua di modul kalian masing-masing ya. Silahkan. Kalian bisa cari. Kemudian jika sudah ketemu kalian bisa beri tanda jempol. Kita akan bahas bersama. Mister, ya. uji kompetensi dua bab dua. Ya, benar. Baik, sudah ketemu? Kita akan bahas bersama. Bagi anak-anak yang minser panggil namanya, nah, kalian bisa jawab apa yang sudah kalian kerjakan, bisa akan tampilkan uh, soalnya ya. Jadi silakan kalian bisa perhatikan dengan baik. Mister, uji kompetensinya itu yang halaman 15 sampai 17 itu. Uji kompetensi 2 uh, di bab 2 ya, Gredi. Ada di oh. halaman 24. Oh. Ya, ada di halaman 24. Halo, Excel. Halo, Mister. Tadi ya, kita ya, disuruh ngapain. Baik. Uh, Excel. Silahkan Excel bisa cari pekerjaan Excel minggu lalu apa yang Mister sudah minta mengerjakan uji kompetensi 2 di bab 2 di halaman 24 berkaitan dengan norma. Waktu itu Mister minta tolong kalian untuk dapat mengerjakan benar ada 10 soal pilihan ganda. Apakah sudah selesai waktu itu? Uji kompetensi 2. Ya, uji kompetensi 2 waktu itu. ya sebentar, sebentar. Karena waktu itu masih dalam... Uh, Mister, ya. uh, saya belum kerja. Oh, Oke, okay, baik. Karena waktu itu uh, benar. Karena waktu itu uh, kalian masih dalam pelaksanaan PTS, benar ya? Kalian bisa lanjutkan sekarang mengerjakan. Karena waktu itu kan tidak boleh jadi PR, tidak boleh jadi tugas. Ya, silahkan uh, yang belum selesai kalian bisa selesaikan. Mister beri uh, tambahan waktu sekitar 20 menit ya jarum panjang ada di angka 6 ya setelah itu kita akan bahas bersama apa yang sudah kalian kerjakan silakan halaman ya. berapa mister halaman 24 ya mister lupa waktu itu ya mister menyampaikan jika belum selesai bisa dilanjutkan di pertemuan selanjutnya berarti hari ini bisa kalian lanjutkan ya mister lupa waktu itu karena kalian masih PTS silakan anak-anak kalian bisa kerjakan yang belum selesai Ya, menurut Mister tidak sulit ya apa yang sudah kita bahas tadi, ya, ya hanya 10 soal silahkan Mister awali dari absen pertama ada Brilia Vilas ini, halo Brilia, so, baik terima kasih Brilia, lalu ada Cesia Simamora. Halo Cesia. Baik, kita lewati Cesia. Kemudian ada Rena. Salah dua. Baik, terima kasih Rena. Lalu ada Excel. Salah dua, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Excel. Lalu ada Frederika Anastasia Putri. Salah dua, Mister. Baik. Lalu ada Harrison. Salah semuanya. Salah semua? Oke, baik. Sudah berani jujur ya, Harrison. Kemudian ada Ida Bagus Putra Winaka. 
salah tiga. Baik, terima kasih. Ide bagus. Kemudian ada KD Nathan. Kedua. Baik, terima kasih Nathan. Lalu ada Kelvin. Kabar, tadi saya belum nyatet lagi minta jawabannya. Oke, okay, oke, okay, okay. baik. Kita lewati dulu Kelvin ya. Oke, okay. kemudian ada Marvel Davidson. Halo Marvel. Salah tiga, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Marvel. Lalu ada Grady. Ya, Mister. Ya, salahnya berapa? Tiga. Baik, terima kasih Grady. Lalu ada Naomi. Salah dua, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Naomi. Lalu ada Kenas. Salah dua, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Kenas. Lalu ada Sifra Kimberly. Salah satu, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Sifra. Lalu ada Valerie Queen. Salah dua, Mister. Baik, terima kasih Valerie Queen. Lalu ada Valerie Brina. Salah empat, Mister. Oke, okay, baik. Terima kasih, uh, Brina. Lalu ada Vanessa. Salah dua, Mister. Baik, terima kasih, Vanessa. Kemudian ada Wina. Salah dua, Mister. Baik. Terakhir ada David Leonardo. Salah tiga. Baik, terima kasih. Sekali lagi, Mister ucapkan baik. Terima kasih buat kalian, ya. Luar biasa sudah berani jujur apa adanya ya Mister Harga itu. Jadi tolong diperhatikan lagi materi-materi yang pernah Mister bagikan dalam bentuk PowerPoint ataupun yang di modul kalian masing-masing semua jelas di sana ya berkaitan dengan norma ya. Untuk mengisi waktu kita bersama ya supaya sama seperti apa yang Mister Sampaikan di kelas yang lain seperti kelas 7A dan 7B. Silahkan kalian bisa perhatikan bagian B di sana ada 10 soal uh, uraian pendek. ya Kalian bisa langsung kerjakan. ya Dan nanti jika sudah selesai, ya jika waktu juga mepet, belum selesai kalian bisa lanjutkan di rumah. Ya, tapi sekarang mumpung masih ada waktu silakan kalian kerjakan. Misal akan berikan ruang pengumpulan di Moodle ya. Nanti jika sudah selesai kalian bisa taruh di sana hasil pekerjaan kalian. Kalian bebas mau membuat dalam bentuk apapun, dalam bentuk Word ataupun dalam bentuk PDF, bebas ya. Mister berikan kalian kebebasan dan gunakan setiap fasilitas yang ada di perangkat kalian masing-masing yang tentunya mempermudah kalian untuk dapat melaksanakan segala macam proses pembelajaran yang ada. Sekali lagi, kalian bisa kerjakan bagian B untuk uraian pendek ada 10 soal masih di halaman 26 ya. Kalian bisa kerjakan di sana dan jika sudah selesai kalian bisa kumpulkan ya. Untuk itu nantinya kita di pertemuan selanjutnya bisa melanjutkan pembelajaran selanjutnya yaitu upaya menegakkan norma dalam kehidupan sehari-hari. Jadi sekarang mumpung masih ada waktu silakan kalian bisa kerjakan bagian B. Mister, ya. Terakhir kumpulin jam berapa? Oh, Mister berikan waktu sebentar ya supaya perlakuannya sama seperti kelas lain ya. Sebentar Mister akan sampaikan. Ya, Mister akan buatkan ruangnya dulu untuk kalian. Jadi dikerjakan dulu, misalkan sampaikan batas pengumpulannya. Baik, Mister beri batas waktu terakhir pengumpulan yaitu pada tanggal 9 hari Sabtu besok jam 5 sore. Ya Sekali lagi, Mister beri waktu batas akhir pengumpulan untuk pengerjaan bagian B uraian pendek tersebut 
di tanggal 9 di hari Sabtu jam 5 sore ya. Jadi mumpung masih ada waktu sekarang kalian bisa kerjakan dan jika waktunya sudah selesai kalian bisa lanjutkan nanti di rumah kalian masing-masing ya. Misalkan buatkan ruangnya sekarang. Ya, kalian bisa perhatikan ya anak-anak untuk ruang pengumpulan Mister sudah buatkan dan untuk materi bagian B berkaitan dengan pentingnya norma dalam mewujudkan keadilan Mister sudah share di sana kalian bisa perhatikan. Ya, yang Mister tampilkan di sini ya ini ya untuk PowerPoint bagian A yang sudah kita pelajari dan kalian sudah lewati bersama. Di sini sudah Mister taruh dan kalian sudah menerimanya dan bagian B ini ya pentingnya norma dalam mewujudkan keadilan apa yang sudah kita pelajari saat ini ya di mana kita akan tutup ya ini untuk ruang pengumpulan tugas kalian ya pengerjaan 10 soal uraian pendek ya yang berada di modul kalian masing-masing di halaman 26 ya Sekali lagi kalian bisa perhatikan batas waktu pengumpulan terakhir yaitu di hari Sabtu besok tanggal 9 Oktober 2021 pukul 17 jam 5 sore ya. Jadi mumpung ada waktu sedikit kalian bisa gunakan ya. Kalian bisa kerjakan dengan baik. Ya, mumpung masih ada waktu 6 menit ya tolong dikerjakan dengan baik dan waktunya jika habis kalian bisa melanjutkan di rumah nantinya ya
Ya, baik anak-anak, ini karena waktu 8.59. Ya, satu menit lagi kita harus berpisah. Jadi silahkan kalian bisa tutup pekerjaan kalian dan kalian nantinya bisa lanjutkan untuk dapat mengerjakan kembali di rumah kalian masing-masing. Kita harus akhiri proses pembelajaran kita. Mari silahkan anak-anak kalian bisa kembali nyalakan kamera kalian yang belum menyalakan. Ya, terima kasih ada Naupi, ada Kenas, ada Marvel, ada Rena, ada Wina juga. Ya, ada Cecia, ada Excel, ada Kelvin, ada Guswin, ada Vanessa, Amy. Sudah segera menyalakan kamera yang belum, silakan. Ya, terima kasih Brina. Ada Erika juga. Ada Harrison. Silakan yang lain. Ada Valery. Ada Leonardo. Ada Grady. Ada Kerni. Ada Brilia. Ya, masih ada satu anak yang belum. Silakan untuk dapat segera menyalakan kamera. Mister minta tolong. Ada Erika. Halo Erika. Mister ingin dengar suaranya untuk pimpin kita berdoa untuk mengakhiri proses pembelajaran kita pada pagi hari ini. Silakan Erika, halo. Uh, iya, Mister. Ya, silakan. Teman-teman uh, dan Mister Ronald, uh, eh Mister Billy, mari kita. Bapak, terima kasih telah mendampingi kami selama kami belajar PPKN. Um, sekarang kami mau menyelesaikan pembelajaran. Uh, Ketika kami supaya kami bisa beristirahat sejenak, lalu nanti kami akan kembali belajar lagi. Tolong berkati kami supaya kami bisa menjalani hari ini dengan baik. Terima kasih Bapak, kami sudah berdoa. Amin. Amin. Baik, terima kasih Erika sudah mendoakan kita semua. Terima kasih anak-anak kelas 7C. Kalian luar biasa, jaga kesehatan, Tuhan Yesus memberkati. God bless you. Terima kasih Tuhan Yesus buat hari yang Engkau berikan, hari yang luar biasa, satu hari lagi kesempatan kami ya Bapak yang Engkau berikan seizinmu ya Bapak untuk kami ada di hari ini Bapak. Kami yakin dan percaya di setiap kesempatan Engkau menginginkan kami berubah menjadi anak yang lebih baik lagi, anak yang taat ya Bapak, anak yang dapat membanggakan Engkau sebagai juru selamat kami. Dan saat ini kami akan belajar matematika Tuhan, mari Tuhan Engkau berkati setiap kami ya Bapak. Berikan kami tanggung jawab yang baik Bapak dalam melaksanakannya. Berikan kami rasa keingintahuan lebih besar lagi Bapak. Rasa semangat ya Bapak untuk belajar. Kami serahkan doa ini di dalam nama Yesus. Haleluya. Amin. Oke, okay, cool, 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 cool. I forgot to press recording. But yeah, okay. So, alright guys. That's settled. Um, sorry, Brilia. We're going with Home Alone, girl. All right. Okay. So I have an interesting activity for us to do today. I have several topics that we could we can have a discussion on for, as your speaking skill, as your speaking practice for today. Okay. And then I have a bit of a bit of information about the speaking. So we're gonna do uh, the materials first, and then we're gonna go through all. Uh, we're not gonna go through all of the discussion topics, but we're gonna you know have a discussion on several of them, all right? Got it? Awesome, all right, ready? Cool. We're, if you guys can open your book, page 156 and 157. I'm just gonna type it in. There you go. 156, 157. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're already at that page. Okay, amaze balls. Amaze balls. All right, awesome. Cool. All right, so we have several academic words. I'm going to present to y'all. All right. There you go. So you have to attitude, common concept, and rely on. So let's go one by one, okay, people? 
attitude. Attitude basically means the opinions and feelings that you usually have. Okay. Uh, I read it too late. <laughs> okay, attitude is uh, the opinions and feelings that you usually have about someone or something. Okay, so Miss Duna, is attitude different from behavior? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, behavior is your action towards something. Uh, attitude is basically your opinion or feeling towards something or someone. All right. Um, comment basically means a stated opinion made about someone or something. All right. So if you look at the definition, means you need to have an opinion in order for you to comment, right? You can't comment on something without having an opinion about it in the first place, right? Third is concept. Concept generally means an idea of how something or how some of, of how something is or how something should be done. Okay. So that's a concept. When you talk about concept, you're talking about an idea. All right, an idea of how something is and, how, and of how something should be done. Okay, that's concept. Lastly is rely on. Relying, rely on means trust or depend on someone or something. If you want to rely on something or if you want to rely on someone, you need to trust them in order to rely on them, right? You need to depend on them in order to rely on them. And depending on them means you need to trust them. So that's why the definition is trust or depend on someone or something. Why? Because trust is the condition for you to be able to rely on them, right? Okay, so um, attitude, the opinions and feelings that you usually have about someone or something. Comment basically means a stated opinion made about someone or something. Concept basically means an idea of how something is or how something should be done. Rely on basically means trust or depend on someone or something. Okay, so far, if you understand the academic words, please give me a thumbs up. All right, amazing, amazing, awesome. All right, now that I want to test your understanding, let's go through the practice uh, questions one till four. Number one, we're supposed to match, uh, the, we're supposed to complete each sentence with the word from the box above, okay, with the academic words. So, number one, the boy began to understand the, what would be the correct answer? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, very good, Erica, very good, Naomi. Concept, okay? The boy began to understand the concept of two animals working together. What about number two, people? The, the cup will, yeah, it's very good, Naomi, rely on, okay? The cup will rely on his mother for care. What about number three? The girls, miss number two, what miss? Number two is uh, re rely on. What about number three? Yeah, okay. Erica says comment. The girls comment. Okay. What about the rest? Any other answer? Yes, very good, Naomi. Very good, Brilia. Very good, Erica. Attitude. Okay. The girl's attitude towards crocodiles changed when she saw the movie about them. Okay. Um, what about number four, guys? Number four. Um, number what number two? Number two is rely on. Number three is uh, attitude. Number four, very good. It is comment. The vet made an important comment about pets and their need for attention. The pet owner listened to his opinion. All righty, awesome. Okay, cool. Any questions about the academic words, the definitions? If you have no questions, give me a thumbs up. Amazing. Okay, awesome. Now we're gonna go to page 157, where we gonna study the word, word study. Greek and Latin roots. Guys, hear me out, people. English is pretty cool. 
English has basically borrowed many words from other languages, such as Greek and Latin. Okay, that's why you have Greek and Latin roots in the English language. So, for example, okay, disaster. Disaster basically uh, contains a Greek root, aster, which means star. All right. Um, in ancient times, people who suffered disasters were thought to be living under a bad star. All right. So that's basically it. Certain words in English, they borrow from another language like Greek or Latin in order to create the word. Okay. So you have several examples there. For example, you have enema, aster, or astro, and then you have bios, okay? So enema basically means breath, life, or spirit. It is Latin. And then you have the English word animal, right? And animation. And then you have another root called aster or astro. Aster or astro basically means star, Okay, it basically means star. And then it it actually is Greek. So astro or astro is Greek. And you have the English words, for example, astrology. Right? Astrology. And next word is bios. Bios basically means life. So you have words like biology, symbiosis, right? So always remember that bio beats life, okay? It is Greek. Bio is Greek. <laughs> really, I, I am so sorry. We're watching Home Alone probably, okay? Uh, really, it's basically sending me recommendations of movies, guys, like Cruella, <laughs> the Suicide Squad. She's like sending me all of this. I don't think she accepts the fact that we're, we're watching um, <laughs> Home Alone. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if you have no questions about the Latin root, the word study, give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to go through uh, the usually one thing that makes you guys so sleepy and tired. Okay. Um, grammar. We're going to go through grammar, guys. Okay, bear with me, okay? This is your last time we're looking at grammar, okay? At least from the book. We're still going to look at grammar for the next meetings, okay? But grammar, people, grammar, all right? So we're going to learn about placement of adjective and principal adjective, okay? Placement of adjectives, you have many rules, people. Remember, rules are not meant to be broken, okay? I definitely dislike this quote that says rules are meant to be broken. Nuh-uh, okay? Rules are meant to be followed so that it keeps you safe, right? For example, riding a bike with a helmet, that keeps you safe. So don't break that rule, okay? Same thing with grammar. Grammar has rules that are meant to be followed so you don't ruin your sentence, okay? So, placement of adjectives. There are several rules. Number one, if noun, if the noun has an article, for example, a, on, or the, the adjective comes between the article and the noun. For example, I want you guys to go to your book page i forgot to tell you guys the page um page 164 and 165 all right if you're already at that page give me a thumbs up okay awesome all right let's move let's move this people okay so for example if you look at the box there you have an example for that. There was a huge earthquake. So the adjective huge is placed between the a uh and the noun. Okay, it's in the middle, right? Second rule, adjective can come after a linking verb. So an adjective can also come after a linking verb such as verb be. Or verbs that describe senses like feel, taste, hear, smell, and look. And 
other types of the cube verbs, so for example, get, become, seem, or appear. All right. So for example, the hippo looked tired. Or another example would be Owen became angry. All right. So that's an example of an adjective that comes after a linking verb. Okay. Rule number three, people, you can use a possessive noun such as Owens with the apostrophe S. Remember that apostrophe shows possession, okay? Or a possessive adjective such as my, your, their, and etc. Or the demonstrative adjectives, this, that, these, those, before an adjective. So for example, Owen became Z's new companion. They spent all their time together. Okay, so you have the one that uses a possessive noun. Owen became Z's new companion, and then the possessive adjective. They spent all their time. Okay, the it shows that they possess the time, their time to go together. All right. So far, if you understand and if you have no questions, give me a thumbs up, please. Amazing, amazing, awesome sauce. Okay, cool. If you guys understand, then you guys can help me with practice A. So we're supposed to fix the adjective that is misplaced. For example, number one, the frightened hippo was, becomes, the hippo was frightened, right? Number two, confused, the tortoise seems, becomes, Ooh, what does it become? Uh, the tortoise seems confused. Very good, Carney. Thank you very much. Uh, the tortoise seems confused. What about number three? Yes, the cat became sleepy. Uh, not the car though, but the cat. Yes, the cat became sleepy. Number four. Aha. Yes, very good, Rena. Those pink flowers are roses, okay? That's for number four. Those pink flowers are roses. Very good. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to move on to page 165, participle adjectives, okay? All right. Um, participle adjectives. Basically, present and past participle can function like an adjective, guys. It can function like an adjective, Okay by ha having the present using the ing form and the past using the ed form. So for example, studying or studied, okay? They can function like an adjective. Those are called participle adjective, okay? Participle adjective. So for example, uh, if you look at your book, you have uh, an example there. The plover is a small wading bird. The hippo was frightened okay so in the example waiting describes the bird the waiting bird right and then frightened describes how the hippo was feeling the hippo was fri frightened right so it's an example of how using the present ing and the past ed it can function like an adjective okay All right. Okay. So next, a participle adjective may follow a linking verb and describe a noun. Okay. So a past participle adjective may also be used to restate an idea with a biphrase. Let's go one by one. Okay. So first, a participle adjective may follow a linking verb and describe a noun. So for example, if you look at your book, you have a, another green box there. Animal friendships are amazing all right that's an that's an example of a participle adjective following followed by a linking verb describing a noun 
okay? Next is a past participle adjective may be used to restate an idea with a biphrase. For example, I am amazed by animal friendship, okay? So far, if you understand, give me a thumbs up, please. Okay, amazing. Naomi is so excited. Go like, yeah. All right, cool. All right, to test your understanding, let's go with practice A. Number one, for example, I was really frustrated by the math problems. What about number two? Who can give help me with number two? All right, no, Naomi says entertaining. The stories were entertaining. Very good, Naomi. Okay, number three. He's yes, very good. Erica and Wina. He's excited about the new mall in town. What about number four? Okay, very good. Carney. I'm actually what? Uh, page 165, Axel. Number three, the answer is. Oh, number three, the answer is he's excited. Okay, okay. All right. So, um, do you think, okay, he's excited about the new mall in town. Okay, do you think the that the directions are confusing? Very good. Very good. Okay, um, it is con the correct answer is confusing, guys. Okay, do you think the directions are confusing? Okay, and then you have number five, which is the science class was yes, very good, interesting, interesting. Okay, the science class was interesting today, very good. Who can help me now with practice B? Um, we're supposed to circle the correct participle at uh, number five. The answer is interesting. Uh, okay. Awesome. All right. Awesome. All right. Okay. So uh, okay, number two, practice B. I it was a. <laughs> is it true, guys? Is it true for you guys? Is it a tiring day for you guys today? Is it a tiring day for you guys today? No? Not really? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not a tiring day for you guys. Okay. Uh, the correct answer is tiring. Okay. Number two, it was a tiring day for the student. What about number three, guys? Friendships can be A. Haha. -ha, very good. Surprising part of life. Very good. Um, what about number four? People number four, she was. Yes, yeah, she was surprised. Very good. She was surprised that she made friends so quickly. Very good, guys. Amazing. All right, awesome. Give yourself a clap. Pat yourself on the back. Tangan online, gangs. Tangan online. All right. <laughs> Okay, I like the fact that Kenneth, Erica, and Carney gave me like an actual little clapping emoji. <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome. All right, now we're gonna go head over to our discussion. Wow, we still have a lot of time. My chicken nugget, <laughs> Kenneth. Yeah, you guys are my chicken nuggets. Nuggets. Okay. All right. Any questions about our material today? If you have no questions, give me a thumbs up. All right. Oh, yeah, you guys are all smart chicken nuggets. Of course, you guys will have no questions, right? Okay, cool. Now, before we head over to our discussion, I would like to explain to you guys several key concepts, okay? Not several, actually, only one. Speaking skill, all right? So, Miss Junior, we have the skill in speaking? Yeah, duh. Okay, you have skills in speaking, all right? So when you want, when you're talking about speaking, there's a structure, people. All right, Mr. No, what's the structure? There's an acronym for the structure, which is PEEL. Okay, P E E L. Here, I bolded it for you guys. PEEL. It stands for point, explain, example, and link back. 
Okay. Point, explain, example, and link back. What does it mean, Miss Duna? So first, you start with your point, right? You start explain. You start with your point first. So what's your point? So if I say, for example, school is important, that would be my point, right? That school is important. And after I state my point, I have to explain it. So if I say school is important, I have to explain why is school important, right? You have several reasons why. So for example, I would say like, okay, school is important because you gain basic knowledge that is needed for future jobs or to function in society, for example, right? And then after you explain, you have to give an example. So if I give you an example for that, uh, school is important because it helps you with your future job and to function in society. For example, learning math, right? Math can help you function in society. For example, when you want to go to a grocery store, when you want to count money, right? So that's an example, okay? So I stated my point. I explained my point. I gave an example. And I now I have to conclude it, right? So for uh, let me re re review it for you guys, okay? So point, school is important because it helps you function well in society. For example, counting money, telling the time, when you want to go grocery shopping. So as the basic knowledge you gain from school helps you function, school becomes important. So far, do you guys understand? If you understand, give me a thumbs up. Okay, yeah, see? So always remember that it goes from, you state your point first, then you explain your point, then you give your example, and then you conclude it, okay? So we're going to try that, okay? I want you guys to start using that at least until example, okay? If you guys don't want to do a link back for, for, for now, it's fine, but I want you guys to state your point, explain your point, and give an example, okay? Let's do that with your practice and discussion. Okay, I have several topics that you guys can choose. Are you ready? First is this, education is key for to future success. Grades should be abolished. Miss Duna, what does abolish means? Abolish basically means menghilangkan. So in this case, it means that school should not have grades anymore. Like it doesn't, should not have scores anymore. Peer pressure is useful more than harmful. Who here understands what peer pressure means? Give me a thumbs up if you know what peer pressure means. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you don't know what peer pressure means. Okay, peer pressure means like you are pushed by your friends to do something, yet you do it because you don't want to lose friends. That's an example of a peer pressure. Okay. Uh, but we can skip this one then. Okay, this is another topic. Students should be held legally responsible for bullying in schools. And only female or male schools are better. So in this case means sekolah yang hanya khusus buat cewek, hanya khusus buat cowok. And last one. I think this one is interesting. Homework should be banned. <laughs> Axel is already giving me a nod. <laughs> Homework should be banned. Okay, so... What topic do you guys want to choose? What do you guys want to discuss? Uh, give me your answer in the chat box. What topic do you guys want to discuss? The reason why we're not watching movies now. What? <laughs> the re you guys want to discuss that? The reason why you're not watching movies now? <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. How about we discuss that Watching movie, a movie in class is useful. Can we discuss that? Okay, yeah, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's discuss that, okay. Who here agrees that watching movie in class is useful? Give me a thumbs up, okay. All right, 
Kenneth, okay, I think everyone would definitely agree with this. Really, I also agrees, but with an exception, it has to be what her recommendations. But okay, she thinks it's useful. All right, okay, all right. I'm gonna start with okay, Grady. Grady, why do you think watching movies in class is useful? Because uh, if we watch on our home, like with parents, it's, it's like we're only watching. Uh, we're only taking something that is fun from the movie, but with teacher with like watching tv with our teacher also supports our mind by like taking the good side of the movie i guess because okay. uh, pretty much when i was like grade five before pandemic i was like at like watching a movie at school and then right there i always found like a good thing from the movie but when we're watching in my well well we're watching with my family i was like yeah, this is boring. There's nothing good in it. Let's go switch to another movie. So, like, it's just that we, like, if I'm watching with my friends and in class and my teacher, it's just feel a little bit more good, I guess, because okay. now we got more friends, I guess. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Grady. Okay, Naomi, why do you agree that watching movies in class is useful? Watching movies in class is useful is because <clears throat> mm, you could learn from everything and like example someone doesn't understand english and they could learn english from watching movies and, or maybe other languages too okay all right awesome okay uh okay so brilia says because we speak better and we might learn from the movies and where we're wrong the teacher can like make you pronounce Make your pronunciation right. Okay, yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> all right, but all right. Who agrees if I say that? Hmm, should I? Okay. What would you guys prefer? Like watching some, but if you watch a movie in class, guys, it's going to be educational, right? It's not going to be like, uh, like you're going to watch Marvel or something, unless you're Miss Duna, who use it for English purpose. But I mean, like, it's not like you're going to watch uh, the thing that you want. Do you guys still think that's fun? Even though it's not a movie that you guys like? Really? We, we always learn something new every day. So like in, if we watch movies in school, we're already used with studying something new. So when we watch a movie that we've never knew or heard before and then we watch it and we think it's fun, it's going to increase our interest in movies. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. So given the choice that given the choice that we actually are talking about movies right now. Hmm. So would you guys would you guys rather watch would you guys have the same effect when your teacher makes you watch YouTube videos or is that different? Is it different or is it like... Wait, 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 wait. what's the question then? So you said like watching movies basically makes you have fun, right? In class. Do you have that mm -hmm. same feeling when your teacher gives you guys like a YouTube video? I mean, like, if it's not about studying, yes. But if it's about studying, like, maybe because the teacher didn't came, so we're supposed to watch, like, a YouTube video about, like, the subject. It's, it felt a little bit more boring, but also exciting at the same time because it's just around the knowledge that's given from YouTube, I guess. Yeah, true. Okay. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So um, moving on to the topics that I presented to you guys before. Do who agrees if we can discuss about this? Homework should be banned. Let's see. Who here agrees with that statement that homework should be non-existent? <laughs> okay, I only have Axel. Who here disagrees that homework should be non-existent? Okay, uh, okay, the rest agrees. The rest disagrees. Okay. All right. Who wants to start explaining why they disagree? All right. Go. Let Naomi go first. Okay. Let Naomi. Okay. Go ahead, Naomi. 
Um, I agree. Um, no, I'm, I disagree about that statement because we could have more time to do the work at home. And yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Your reason. Anyone else? Okay. Maybe Grady. Go ahead. I think it's because for me, for me, uh, 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 my family always told me that if I get like a homework or maybe a job, like something that I need to work from school, why uh, the other friends or the other student is taking a rest, uh, I need to finish it first. So now when I already finish every, every single work from school, I was like, I'm bored because my brother needs to sleep from like 14 until like, I don't know, like six in the evening and I was, I got nothing to do except waiting for him because my mom told me that before my brother wake up, I cannot watch movies or hold my phone. So I got nothing to do. So getting a homework from school is like victory because now I got something to do. Yeah, yeah. But for, but for other people, I think homework shouldn't be bad, I guess, because uh, the more we finish the homework is the smarter we get. So now if we get Maybe like if we're on a test, it's going to be easier because we're going to get used with the questions, I guess. Ooh. Okay, and do you guys know that actually getting homework, um, when you fail a test, your grade from your homework helps you a lot, right? So that's why. I think homework is more beneficial than having no homework at all, guys. Okay? Do you hear that, Axel? I'm sorry, man. Okay, but... Excellent. Why do you why do you why do you agree that homework should be banned? Let's see. Hmm. When well, when I do homework, I usually get bored very fast, and a lot of I oh, I need to answer if I cannot and. I will get the zero score and I didn't want it. Okay. This, that, uh, All right. Okay. It's the stress, guys. <laughs> it's the stress. Ah! All right. How many homeworks do you guys get in a day, by the way? Like, how? No, in a week. In a week. In a week. I don't even want to count the homework. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how much it is. Do you guys think there should be a limit? Who agrees there should be a limit? Yeah, there should be a limit. Okay. What is the limit? Like, what is the limit? Uh, I think the limit is like every, uh, every single day, maximum subject. Uh, like, homework is like four, maybe three. Depends on how many subjects there is in one day, I guess. Ah, okay. Okay. I got so Okay. Uh, Erica says zero. <laughs> Leo says zero. <laughs> <laughs> and that means no homework at all, guys. All right, let's see. Uh, so Kenneth says, I don't agree if there is no task. We do not know how to do it. Okay, it's okay. And then Weena says it's boring without any homework. So yeah, I actually agree with that. Okay, and then... <laughs> okay, Weena says two, but easy. And Cecilia says zero. <laughs> all right, okay. So... Let's move on to a new topic, okay? I was thinking we could discuss this. I discussed this in previous class. So, students should be held legally responsible for bullying, all right? So, okay, oh, I can already see Naomi agreeing. <laughs> all right, so you guys know that bullying is a case that happens a lot, especially in middle school or, or in, yeah, of course, in school uh, in general, right? So, who here agrees with that statement that students should be held responsible for bullying? Naomi agrees. Is it only Naomi? Okay, Brilia really agrees. Okay, Grady agrees. Who wants to start? Okay, let's go with Naomi. Naomi, why do you agree? Since you're the one very like, ah. <laughs> go ahead, Naomi. Because if they, like, the people or the kids who bully, the students who bully the person, you know, the person who got bullied. Yep. They are going to do, to do bullying. They also need to, 
here to take the responsible for it. And yeah. Oh. But being held legally responsible, guys, means you are processed by law. Processed by law. And I think that's a very... It sounds like a very good strategy to decrease bullying somehow. All right, Grady, why do you agree? Uh, because uh, even though bullying sounds just... Oh, uh, bullying is just normal stuff kids do. Like, they're just still kids. It's okay if they do it as long as not, it doesn't cause bad. It's It actually go much worse than what people think. Like, for me, because I already ever experienced bullying, I was like, my thoughts about bullying being stopped is like, I hope it really has to stop because like, like this earth is really big. There must be bullying everywhere. And some of the bullying is so bad. Like it could actually cost our lives, mm. and the problem is, if uh pretty much bullies in other countries than Indonesia is all of them are like anak jabatan or maybe something that is like really rich or something. So then when the teacher uh, like gave them like homework as the exchange of bullying, they all say, "What? My dad is going to sue you and fire you from your job, so then you could now live on the streets." That is the problem. Because kids say that and because their fathers or maybe their parents is just have that much strong thing in the the lingkungan. So yeah. now it's just hard for us to like still kids so then they don't go back. They don't bully, I guess. Yeah. It's just that hard. It's just that hard to stop bullying in this world. Okay. Guess, yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Brilia, why do you agree that... A uh, student should be held responsible, legally responsible for bullying. Uh, really, I says half of my energy wasted on random knowledge. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Brilio. Uh, tell me why do you agree that um, students should be held legally responsible for for bullying? Okay, I think Brilia went to the toilet. Okay, all right. Anyone else want to want to respond to that, to that statement? No. Okay, then let's move on. To what statement? Oh no, you already responded to to that. You know, to the yeah. All right, now we're gonna move on to a different topic. Let's see. Oh no, no, not homework should be meant. Aha! Education is the key to future success. Education is the key to future success. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with that statement. <laughs> All right, Brina, okay, go ahead. Tell me why you agree, Brina. Um, because there is knowledge in education and education, uh, don't have to be um, material. Okay. All right. I think I yeah. I think I get what you, I get your point. Okay. Thanks, Brina. All right. Okay. Wina says when I was SD, my friend bullied me, and I know it, how it feels. So yeah. Oh, who here has has been bullied before? Can I? Can you give me a thumbs up if you've ever been bullied? Wow. Oh, shoot. What, how bad? Okay, how long was it? Like, how... Was it really bad? Yes. Okay, wow. For you, Grady, it was bad? Was it... Don't... Was it physical or... Uh, Some of them are like... People keep on trash talking me. Some of them are like... Yeah, physically like... Punch me or maybe kick me something. And they always like... Like they always ancham me by not telling the parent, my parents or my teacher. If not, they're going to bully me worse. And I cannot do I cannot do anything because I cannot tell my parents that I've been bullied for like almost since I was first first grade until sixth grade. Even though in sixth grade we're still on pandemic, they keep on cyber bullying me. And I'm just I'm just happy because of pandemic that I now I don't need to be physically injured. But at the same yeah. time, I feel sometimes it's just like get hurt and it just hurt my mental. 
mentality, I guess. It's just like mental abuse, I guess. Wow. Oh, well, thanks for sharing, though. It's definitely probably a person it's definitely a personal thing but thanks for sharing you guys are pre- you guys are very open i'm very wow it's amazing all right okay so Rina says from first grade till sixth grade wow okay that's a long time uh really i says that she uh, i got bullied because i can say r wow what just because of that random reason <laughs> yeah, but okay, six years she she bullied me and told my friend bad about me, but actually I never do that. Oof. Oh wow. Uh okay, this is horrible. And this is only in SD lo. <laughs> I don't No 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 I uh, no 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 for me I think my bully is so bad. Why? Because the bully is actually a girl. Seriously? Yes, I got bullied by girls. Oh, and the so like I was like when I was still like grade one, uh, first grade or maybe second grade, I was just that uh-huh. shy. Uh, literally no boy or girl uh, like uh, having like a friendship with me until I was like at uh, last semester of grade two, I met this girl where she was like very friendly, and then she introduced me to the other girls, and then I was like. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then there's this fun, and then the boys know that I'm on the girls' team for some reason, and then the boys keep on like, "Hey, girl, you wanna be friends?" And then now they always invite me to their house, play games together. But then, uh, suddenly the girls bully me for playing with the boys. What's wrong with that? I am a boy. Then I was like so confused. So like, and until sixth grade, I keep on getting bullied by girls, and some of the girls said, "Why are you so short, Grady?" Now and I was like. You're shorter, <laughs> and it's just it just keep on going like an infinite cycle. But at the end, yeah, the bully finished after I moved school to this school. Uh, the bully finished because I didn't talk that much with them. There's because now all of us separate school. Some of them still stay in the old school, but yeah, I'm just happy that I moved now. I don't need to get physically bullied again. Ah, uh, wow, but getting physically bullied is very bad, though. I have to admit, like. You're like scared for your life, trying to hide, trying to run. Wow. All right. Okay. Um. Naomi says I don't really know why I get bullied, and you probably don't care, huh? You're just like don't don't you come near me, right? <laughs> oh goodness sake! All right. All right. Um. I was bullied as well. Just uh, in case you guys, uh. I just wanted to say this so that you guys um, know that you guys are not alone. I was bullied all throughout uh, SD and SMP, actually. And um, that was really bad. But, you know, one thing that I learned is that when you're young, you do incredibly dumb things things and you (laughs) right I mean (laughs) you say things that you don't mean that you thought you're you can say it but you actually can't you didn't you thought that you were just joking but then it actually hurts the person and you know you don't know what you're doing you know you just don't you don't know what you're doing and I, I I've experienced that and I think it's a good thing to know that sometimes when you're young you don't know what you're doing And that's why you can be doing the wrong thing that's actually dumb, but you don't know <laughs> that it's dumb because you thought it's cool to do, right? So I think as a, <laughs> as a principal, I, what I learned is that we need to forgive. And constantly forgiving is something that I learned a lot. I learned to forgive those who hurt me. I learned to forgive those who bullies me, who bullied me. And guess what? I can be friends with them. We became friends in high school. I never thought we could, but we did. And almost all of them actually apologized to me for treating me that way. But it's all because I learned to forgive and to let it go. And, you know, just move on with your life. And knowing that, you know, there's, there are good people out there, right? 
not everyone is bad and not everyone is good, right? So if not everyone is good, then not everyone is bad also. There's always good people and bad people, right? But like keeping our chin up and hoping for the best and then like holding on to what we believe to be hopeful and good is always a good thing. And it always lifts our spirit up. So yeah. All right. I'm going to read several. Oh, brilliant. You know Taekwondo. I know. You know, I wish I'm like you knowing Taekwondo because if anyone tries to get close to me, <laughs> if anyone tries to hurt me, <laughs> that Taekwondo. Well, for me, my mom used to tell me that if I ever get bullied or maybe someone just tell me or like, you know, a kid never come to me. My mom always tell me to kick their balls, but at the same time, the bully is a girl. How am I supposed to kick their balls at the same time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> graphic okay all right <laughs> that's hilarious Grady. okay kenneth says i was bullied just because i was close to my teacher and i almost got hit by a car because of my friend's action really that's horrible hey some of us can help it the teacher likes us right <laughs> all right okay so Vina Vina says i have to give my money so i didn't get bullied but i uh get bullied every day i'll do <laughs> okay, really a sad fact. Me and my cousin used to fight with lightsabers and thinking it looks cool. Meanwhile, my sister, what are they doing? So weird. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. All right. So do you guys think like... Oh, my gosh. I, I got bullied because I don't give my food to her. The person who bullied me is my own best friend. Really, Naomi? Oh, my gosh. That sucks. That sucks so bad. I experienced that too, by the way. My own best friend bullied me too. <laughs> What's up with... Oh my gosh, that sucks. Are you guys still friends or not anymore? I mean, did you guys... Did she apologize and you guys are friends again or what? She didn't apologize, but... I mean, we met. We watched movie together, but she didn't apologize. But I don't really mind. I mean, well, I still remember it, but I kind of... Like, yeah 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 some things you can't forget you know just, there are just things you can't forget it's marked in you for like <laughs> rest of your life all right um okay okay the person she is my best friend too so so she say i need to eat what she want i eat if i not what she wow oh wait hold on weena that's one controlling best friend. What? So you're only allowed to eat what she says you're allowed to eat? That? Oh, wow. Oof. That's, that's really bad. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, did you guys ever tell your teacher about, about the bullying, though? Never? Okay. How did it go for you, Grady? What did your teacher do the girls they lie and the and the teacher trust them <laughs> it's it's just weird the girls are just too good at lying the boys are just uh, i mean like the boys are just too good at lying uh, there's even someone that saw it someone saw when i got bullied someone saw it and when the guy that told the teacher that i saw it too teacher she bullies them and then and then she said no, no, she's just lying. Just because you're her, your greatest best friend, don't lie, okay? And then, and then for some reason, the teacher now like dismisses both of us, where we cannot go home until three a.m. And I haven't told my mom. So then, when I got home, I got scolded by my mom, and then I got like, uh, hukuman. I cannot play my phone for a whole month, and all of them are because of the bully spot. And up until now, no, no teacher still trusts me. It's, it's just weird, I guess. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That's <laughs> common. That's, uh, yeah, telling your teacher and then your teacher doesn't believe you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. By the way, you were bullied by girls. I was also bullied by a guy. <laughs> What's up with the opposite gender bullying the opposite, of ge opposite genders? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Kenna says, I've, al I've also had my hands burned by my own best friend. Really? What? Yeah, that's that real. That is so bad. What? 
number her. How did he? How did she do that? Can I ask? How did that happen? She saw me with my friends. She's named Inda, and she told has to burn her arm for to her to her best friend. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm okay. Yeah. Well. Guys, it is not like an uncommon issue. I think bullying is such a common thing. I think almost almost everyone have experienced it in a like probably in a simple form or in a more extreme form, right? You guys know that phys- uh, there are someone who would be physically bullied until they bleed or something or their arms are broken or what or what that is crazy and then you have the ones that are um you have you have the ones that are more like verbal bullying right that they they say they mock you they say things about you and they make the whole class say it about you right <laughs> so yeah happy that it's only bruises yeah great man i'm really also happy that for you in your case it's only bruises although that's still bad though but Yeah, I'm glad you didn't get a broken arm or something. <laughs> oh wow. If it's wow, that's pretty inny. All right. All right. Coolio. So, I think we our discussion we can end it here. I actually wanted to uh, recap a bit. All right. Okay, wait. No, no. Okay. So, remember that yeah i'll just recap the grammar okay so always remember always remember okay uh wait i'm gonna read what really uh chad to me the more knowledge you gain the more opportunities there is and like you need knowledge to get a job probably just to tell you <laughs> yeah 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 wow well, yes okay Uh, okay, so remember, guys, that the placement of adjectives uh, first is if a noun has an article a uh, on or that the adjective the adjective comes between the article and the noun. Okay, and then if the ad- adjective comes after a linking verb, also, and it can be used as a possessive noun. All right, and present and past participle can fun- function like an adjective, like for example, making the present with an ing form. And the past with an ed for. These are usually called participle adjectives. All right, cool. Okay, so if you have no questions about the material, about grammar, and about anything else, give me a thumbs up. All right, amazing, amazing sauce, awesomeness to the core. All right, okay, so heads up. All right, so next week, remember that um, you guys should be start watching home alone for now by now okay and uh i will tell you your basically your your activity by next week all right if there are any changes i will put it in your lms all right so that's it for today you guys are awesome thank you so much for today amazing discussion with you guys and i'm so happy that you guys are happy even though you guys been through a lot of bullying right but you guys are amazing And you guys are strong. God bless you guys. Hearts back to you, Kenneth. <laughs> All right. Aw, you guys. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Keep the faith. All right. Hearts back to you, Brilia. All right. See you guys. Peace out. Dan semua open kamera. Kita akan mulai pembelajaran IPS hari ini. Ya. Yeah. Silahkan semua aktifkan kameranya. Silahkan semua aktifkan kameranya. Kita mau berdoa dulu yuk. Miss Irma minta tolong Rena ya. Pimpin kita dalam doa. Doa pembuka. Silahkan Rena. Oke. Okay. Miss dan teman-teman mari kita berdoa. Tuhan sebentar lagi kami akan uh, memulai pembelajaran IPS. Engkau yang kiranya memberkati kami selama pembelajaran berlangsung Tuhan. Terima kasih Tuhan dalam nama Tuhan Yesus selalu ya. Amin. Amin. Terima kasih Rena. 
Oke anak-anak, uh, Mister Ma absen dulu nih siapa kira-kira kok partisipansnya ada 19 saja ya? Berarti ada satu orang yang tidak ada. Grady, hai Grady, apa kabar Grady? Baik Miss. Oke, Naomi, silahkan dilihat di LMS. Di nah, jadi ini nggak boleh sosial. buka buku ya Miss? Gimana Excel? Ini cuma 10 soal kan? Iya, 10 soal saja. Nah, silakan kalian jawab dulu 10 soal itu. Setelah itu kita akan bahas bersama-sama. Ya, baru setelah itu Miss Irma akan lanjutkan ke lembaga sosial, lembaga keluarga. Oke. Silakan Miss Irma berikan waktu, silakan dijawab dulu itu. Miss Irma mau tahu nih kira-kira kalau Rena seberapa jauh ya pemahamannya mengenai interaksi sosial? Kira-kira Goswin sejauh mana ya mengetahui penjelasan dari Miss Irma? Ya, memahami. Kira-kira ya Brina? Uh, jadi mulai lihat buku atau enggak? Uh, sementara jangan dulu ya. Miss Irma mau tahu sejauh mana dulu kalian paham. Ya, Brina ya yang lainnya. Silahkan dikerjakan dulu, Erika. Jangan dulu lihat buku ya. Coba dulu, nggak oh, lihat buku. Masih ingat nggak kira-kira nih? Kira-kira oh, mas, seberapa paham nih penjelasannya Miss Irma? Ya. Silahkan dikerjakan dulu anak-anak. Miss Irma mau cek dari sini ya, dari LMS ini. Ada yang tahu Marvel kemana? Jangan-jangan ini off cam ini Miss Irma terpancing untuk bertanya nih Miss Irma. Kalau gitu mau nanya deh dulu ya. Miss Irma coba tanya sama Excel dulu. Excel. Ya Miss. Ya Excel kalau norma, aca, eh, norma cara kalau menyimpang itu apa konsekuensinya Excel? Mendapatkan apa? Kalau menyimpang dari norma cara. Hmm. Mungkin Marvel bisa membantu Excel menjawab Marvel. Ya, Miss. Ya. Tadi Marvel. sempat patah-patah, Miss. Jadi norma cara. Enggak begitu ngerti Miss ini sekarang Marvel, lagi patah -patah Marvel, lagi, Marvel. Miss. Dan juga kalau ada istiadat dilanggar mendapatkan sanksi adat. Ya. Dipahami dengan baik. Nah, anak-anak, untuk hari ini ada yang mau ditanyakan dulu dari tingkatan norma dulu. Nanti di pertemuan berikutnya baru kita lanjut ke lembaga ya, ke lembaga keluarga fungsinya ya, anak-anak ya. Ada yang mau ditanyakan dulu? Kira-kira. Miss. Ya, Berina. Uh, jadi tingkat eh tingkatannya itu cara kebiasaan tata adat kebuat. istiadat. Uh, Terus tata kelakuannya cara tata, cara kebiasaan tata kelakuan baru adat istiadat, Brina. Oke okay, Miss. Ya, oke. Okay. Ada lagi yang mau bertanya sebelum kita akhiri? Tidak ada. Kalau tidak ada yang bertanya, berarti Miss Irma rasa sudah paham ya. Oke. Okay.